Probably going to Nintendo Corporation here that I'm underwater right now. So it's really hard for me to commentate this episode. So I'm gonna try to do it. No, oh, no, oh, there, that's better. I'm out of the water now. I can. So I don't have to break character after all. Yay. Anyway, I'm a knight. And I'm trying to. I, I'm not sure what I'm actually doing here. I know the princess's father was like killed or some shit. And we're trying to avenge him or something. And there's slimes. Well, I'm sure this slime in particular probably had nothing to do with whatever happened to him. But apparently he supports what happened to him by being here now. So I... Oh, that's it right there. That's the block that killed me. Was that an enemy drop? I think it was. Because the axe that I got, that's what happened with the axe and the other, oh man. On, on one of my other files I got an axe, but it was an enemy drop. I didn't think about that until just now. You know what? Since I have that, I'm gonna go save again. Because enemy drops in this game are extremely rare. That's only the second one I've seen. And I've played this game probably a total of eight hours. So, please, whatever you do, do not die. I don't wanna lose my sushi, man. Man. Ugh! It's making me nervous. Plus, I want to see what the sushi does, actually. So, equip. Oh, let me show, actually show you what else I got here. The clock key. It opens the clock tower. Sushi, maximum HP plus six. Okay. This is maximum HP plus four, and this is the book missing the pages. We have two out of ten pages found. And then under relics, we have the airy stone, breaks certain blocks, warp stone we can warp. This lets us swim, this lets us double jump. This attracts... Oh, okay, no, this doesn't actually increase the gold that drops. It pulls the gold to you. And cleats prevent slipping when walking on ice. So, yeah. I love games with upgrades like that, that, like, attract items to you. Especially, like, in those shoot 'em up games, like Gradius. Where you have to collect a bunch of those and then, like, spend them on better upgrades for your ship. I love those kinds of games. I could play those all day long. Maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know what. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are pretty much, you know, seem to like everything I do. So, and I do appreciate that. Doom, -ba doom. We're gonna get back up here and see if we can to make this jump for a train here. We've only been trying to do this for the last, duh, I don't know how many videos now. See, that wasn't actually that hard. Oh, I see. It's Diarrhea 4. Is that what we got going on here? Just like in... Thank God. Okay, I would have used the boomerang normally, I guess. Alright, this looks a little tricky, but... It's funny, because usually when... The thing with me is, like, when I see obstacles in games... A lot of times I do better on my first attempt at them, and then later I start doing bad because I expect it to be easier than it is, because I think, oh, I did it once, so it shouldn't take any effort for me to do it again. What I forget is that it actually did take effort to do it the first time, and I'll just, so, so from then on, it's like I suddenly expect to be able to do it without thinking about it, and that's not the case at all. Is he going to knock me off the screen? I use the electricity on you too? I don't know. The arrows seem to be working just fine, even though they're not doing much damage at all. The water's not doing any damage to me at all. So, and I'd rather stay here than get knocked back into this. Oh, oh, it is doing damage. Shit. Be careful. I'm gonna try the magic. Yes. That is obviously... <laughs> okay, but you have to make sure it goes the right way. Oh, no. Uh-oh, I think I got you locked in a pattern here. That would be just fine, too, actually.
shit. You hit me anyway. Alright, it's another battle of attrition here. Man, I shouldn't have wasted so much time on that fish, man. I might have to cut some of that out. It took me too long to figure out what I was supposed to do there. Yeah, I can imagine just trying to get up close to fight this guy. Why would anybody do that, though? Would this boss have not been here if I hadn't hit the switch after the other boss, I wonder? Oh man, this is taking forever. The thing is, this could be so much worse, though. So remember how bad it was with the fish? I could only hit him, like, once every few seconds. I mean, at least this guy... I'm able to hit him consistently. Yeah, I think we got this. I know, don't say that, right? But no, we got this. We totally do. It's not even like a matter of setup irony or deliberate irony or any of that deliberate shit. <laughs> Jumping in victory while the water pushes me back. Nice. Yeah, that rushing water that I heard somewhere. Oh, there's another switch. Oh, uh, hello. Are you friendly? Grumble, grumble. Are you serious right now? I don't have any food for you. I can't equip anything. I can do this. Isn't that fancy? Grumble, grumble. Is there any way I can give him the sushi? I don't think there is. Alright, whatever. <laughs> well, that's certainly interesting, I will say. Well, I'm not even going to remember that that guy is there. Once again, I should have gone back and screen and saved before I went ahead. Is there anything down? Nope. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Looks like maybe you could fall through to the floor underneath, but I guess not. Jeez. Man, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, thank goodness there's no knockback when you take damage in the air. So that helps a lot, because you can still make your jumps. Shit, I knew right in the way when I made that jump I was uh, I was in for some shit. I was in for the long haul, baby. I can get rid of this guy first. There we go. <laughs> it's all a matter of knowing the length of your screen, really. There. This one wasn't that much so much easier. How in the world am I gonna make that? Like that, I guess. <laughs> Just have to relax, that's all. See, this is another place we could probably yeah. question is, though, where do I go now? Surely there was another intersection somewhere. There was nothing before this save point, though. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Museum key! Okay, the museum, um, I believe is back in town. Because I saw it on, like, a makeshift map that somebody made. It's like a text map, basically. All it had was like little arrows on it. Saying like, museum here, town here. Mm, I still love these arrows, I will maintain. That I am not tired of them even yet. Do -do 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 -do. I was actually making a list on my fridge today of possible future LPs, and it didn't occur to me yeah, because, like, listening to the tapes was reminding me a lot of a lot of old games that I used to play a lot that I never really... that I very rarely acknowledge on here, but that I am somewhat familiar with. Like, for example, Star Fox 1. Seriously, how the hell have I not played Star Fox 1 yet on here? Oh. Okay, apparently... I... Somehow, I, th I thought this went to the fish, but apparently... I haven't been here yet. I'm gonna take you out with... Nope. <laughs> Couldn't have done that any worse. Maybe if we do it like this. No, it's just too far back. Nope. No! Boy. 
Man, this guy's a good dodger. Well, why don't we just do that? I assume if I just walk forward, those are gonna hit me. Nope. Okay, well that seemed like the safest thing to do. Sometimes trying to do a fancy maneuver is often the worst thing to do. That there too. Hmm. So we got two of these toilet faces here. Flushing away, trying to flush me out. You know, in the temple! Oops. Oh, sorry, my keyboard wire is actually touching the bell. It's kind of muffled the sound of it. I'm really digging this music. I guess he didn't smell anything. So you're probably just smelling those toilets from earlier. Alright, just get a brief look at what's going on in here. Okay, that's doing damage, my bad. Let's get in there. Oh, wasn't there somewhere else I could enter? Like a door? Where, where, where was that? When did I see that? Okay, this is not doing us any good. Let me see if we can get him to fire up here. There we go. Hopefully that does something for us. Alright, good. Yeah. Oh no, 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 I'm not getting up there, but this... Yeah, that works. This is rather pleasant. It's pretty simple puzzles, and we're making it through. Believe me, this episode is just about as relaxing for you as it is for me. I, I hope it is, anyway. <laughs> White orb. Mm hmm. Probably a Simon's Quest reference, if I had to guess. I guess that probably what you do with it is similar. Actually, my first thought was give it to the Grumble Grumble guy, but, uh... Because that's the only other person or thing I've seen in here. I'm gonna need something to get me up there. Thank God. Yeah, the Star Fox 1, there's like, I could play Street Fighter 2 on here. You know, just like play through the game and fight everybody once with somebody and, you know, see their ending and then go on. Just do another one. I don't know, it would just be something nice and random. Uh, let's see, what else was there? I could look, but I don't want to right now. I've been talking about Adventure in Island forever. There's also a game called Joe and Mac that I rented once that I really liked. So, yeah, totally for Well, as far as that goes, there's Faxanadu. And, oh, boy. I didn't even write Faxanadu down. That one just crossed my mind just now. I wonder what's up there. <laughs> Is it just scream? It's like they're screaming to me. There's something there. Can't you see it? Oh, B. How, how did I not... How did I not get hit there? Yeah, nice try. Okay, I'm not touching you. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let you live. You're kinda cute. Oh, no. Don't even think about it. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Did I go up here yet? I don't think I did. Okay, that's maybe that's where you go to go to where the fish was. But there may yet be another way to go from there, so I'm gonna check it out again. I'm gonna check everything pretty well before I leave here. I do not want to miss anything here. Not that this is a really hard place to get to, but you know. You just wanna be thorough, that's all. Thank God. Feels like it's been five whole minutes since I saved, and that was... Yup. If you had to die, that was the time to do it. I'll say. There's a save point there, good. This was that boss from earlier. Let me see if the white orb doesn't by any chance. No?
All right, then. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep him in mind. Projectile shield, uh, also oil bird citrus. Why is this one white, I wonder? Maybe he eats the bird? Um, <laughs> right now that's the only thing I can really think, although that would be kind of sad. Okay, yeah, this magic is not, like, chargeable. He just follows you around like beat. So, but there's really no telling when or what he'll attack. I haven't used it really that much, though, so... Oh, could be anything. Loving that crystal shock. I should have put that on a lot sooner than this. I can't, like, select any of these to equip. Oh, it doesn't tell you either, does it? Hmm. Well, I'm not surprised. Anyway, well, you know what? Since we're at a safe point, this seems like a good place to stop and now they're driving around outside again. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later.